Hello and welcome back to the Marvelous Universe. Today Division 2's teams are at Honeydew House for Qualifier 4. They compete in the long jump, sprint and archery as we see if anyone can mount a challenge against the dominant leaders, Melon Maniacs. So first up we do have the long jump. Tigers Heightens hold this record at 52.7. Caramel Curlers and Team Mercury will be the first two teams hoping to get somewhere near that Caramel point today. Curlers. Caramel Curlers are up first of course. It's a good jump from Caramel Curlers. Looks nice across the landing area, nice and long, not too much height, 45.6, it's a solid start from them. We'll see if the other teams can match or even exceed that, Team Mercury. Seems a little bit low there, Team Mercury could do a bit of improvement looking at that jump again. 42.4 as expected, not as good as the Carol Curlers. Team Octopi. It's a very good from Team Octopi there. Very nice out of the jump and a very, very nice arc over the landing area. 47.6, our current leaders. Carnival Cruiser. Cruiser is trying to take that title off them and they might do with that. Carnival Cruiser's very nice arc you can see over there. 48.5. Brilliant stuff from the Carnival Cruisers. Aqua Jets now. And it's not as good a look from Aqua Jets as they struggle to get as far. Bit of a low arc there, 46.0. They'll be happy with that, but they know they could have done better. Vulcans now. And it's not great from Vulcans. They seem to struggle a bit with their grip coming out of that jump. Didn't get the required heights. Only 38.7. Not good from the Vulcans. Chocolate, Chocolate limes. limes now. And it's a little bit better from Chocolate Limes. It was a bit of an odd one, but we'll see what they get. 45.1, respectable for the Chocolate Limes. Melomaniacs now, the last team in the long jump today, and it is big. Finishing off this event in style. Very nice jump, textbook from Melomaniacs, 49.5. They clinch the win as if they need it. They take the nine points from this event. No one actually making the top ten. Melomaniacs with a good enough jump, but obviously they are in second overall. Very nice from the Melomaniacs. They extend their lead 95.5 at the top of the table, 30 points ahead of second place. One has to wonder, can anyone even catch them? We'll see if that will happen as we take on the sprint. Event number two, Mighty Mallows at 3.782 is the record. Heat one, however, is at Caramel Curlers, Team Mercury, Aquajets and Chocolate Limes. And they're off. It's a good start from Mercury and Aquajet. Aquajets are going to take it. They do indeed. 3.880. Not a bad time, but the other teams just coming through. Team Mercury almost catching them. Chocolate Limes just behind. Caramel Curlers having a little bit of a howler there. But Aqua just Team Mercury both make it under four. Vulcans, Melon Maniacs, Carnival Cruisers, Team Octopi. It's a good start from Vulcans and Carnival Cruisers just about falling off at the end there. 3.884. Very close indeed. We'll have to see what that does. They just missed out on the top spot, I do believe. But all the things make it under four seconds there. Very nice stuff. But it is the Aqua Jets, four thousandths of a second ahead of Vulcans from heat number two. Aqua Jets taking a win and nine points for them onto the board. Melly Maniac still in the lead, but by a smaller margin this time. Team Mercury making it up to them and Aqua Jets having a little bit of a jump up into third. Archery now, Team Mercury do hold this record actually in for number four. We'll see what they can do today. Vulcans are going to start okay. as well, followed by Team Octopi. And they're coming in, and it's a very good from the two, but one of those 11 points for Vulcans flying out of that target there. Team Octopi. Team Octopi. And one not making it, but an 8 and a 3. So that one gives them 12 points. Nice from Team Octopi. Carnival Cruisers. Carnival Cruisers. 2, 1, and 1. Possibly the worst archery we have seen to date. Team, Team Mercury. Mercury now, the record holders. Let's see what they can do. And it's not great. 8, 3, but 1 just not making it onto the target. So it's only a 12. Could have been so much better. Caramel, Car Car Caramel Curlers. Let's see what they can do. 8, a little bit better with an 8 and a 5, actually. And they have that 1 falling off again. But 14 isn't too bad for... Melomaniacs. Melomaniacs. And they're at the top of the table. They're trying to stay there. All three staying on the target, but 11 points. 
Chocolate Limes now. And it's very good from Chocolate Limes. Look at that. All the way up to a 10, a 5, and a 1 for not making it on. 16 points taking the lead in this below par field today. Aquajets. One making up to the 10. It could have been so good, yet it was not that great. The one and a one making it a 12. The winners of that, Chocolate Limes, at the bottom of the table, taking home the nine points. You see your leaders, Melon Maniacs, only taking two and a half points as they draw with the Vulcans. But that does mean they actually break the 100-point mark. First team to do so, holding a 24.5 lead. I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video. After Division 1 on Wednesday, we're going to take a little break from the Wabinus Core League. That doesn't mean there will be no marble racing, however, as we have the 24 second challenge and then the preliminaries for the big summer competition, the Marvelous Games. Please consider subscribing to the channel and tell us your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and goodbye.